Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight for the 2023 Gibson County High School graduation. Sadie Wright, daughter of Bree North from Kenton, is the student council president. Sadie will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. That will be followed by the playing of the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Life, they give it joy and they bring it meaning. 
These are the aspects of life that are often overlooked or forgotten. And in those tiny moments, the short encounters, that can change your whole day or even your life. My fellow graduates, I encourage you to look for these little things in your future. We all know how much of a toll school, work, and life in general can take on us. And things are not always going to be easy. So find your peace and find the little things in life that make you happy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome from the class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce the salutatory from the class of 2023, Mackenzie Bradley. Mackenzie is from Spring Hill, and is the daughter of Danny Hedder Bradley. Ladies and gentlemen, Mackenzie Bradley. Preparation for the college or career of their choice. 
This distinguished award is presented to students who have achieved a combination of both a remarkable GPA and ACT score. We're extremely proud to honor these 17 students who have reached this significant milestone. They're noted in the program with a graduation cap. Mr. Hughes will now bestow a medallion to these well-deserving students. Please come forward. Gentry Clanton. Mackenzie Bradley. Emma Davidson. Libby Gove. Evan Cantrell. Ben Pugh. Fletcher Martin. Matthew Reynolds. Mariah Lewis. Leah Kirk. Jaden Ball. John Truey. Ethan Turner. <laughs> Sophie Allred. Sadie Wright. Yes, Sadie! Kate Nicholson. Ariel Eddings. <laughs> Audience, I present to you Gibson County High School's class of 2023. <laughs> At this time, I have the honor of presenting the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Gentry Clinton. Gentry is the son of William and Brooke Clinton of Brooklyn, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentry Clinton.
In my search, I fell upon a long discussion I had with one of my best friends, Terry Hill, last Saturday night. That night, Terry and I discussed many things, but what stood out to me when I was thinking about this speech was our discussion of the success of failure. Success is something that everyone knows about. It's something that we all strive for, and failure is something everyone is likely to have been through when trying to achieve success. But what really, what really is success and what really is failure? I think we all know by now the more basic parts of the answer. Success is when you achieve your goal and failure is when you don't. And we sure all know that failure is just as important as success because it teaches us valuable lessons that help us meet our goals. However, in our discussion, me and Perry, or Perry and I, have reviewed how success and failure are also heavily in, in, impacted by perspective. We noted that after further inspection, our failures could be more like successes than they did in the public. And overcoming our initial feelings that we had at the time of not reaching our goal led to a more clear perspective of how our situation and allowed us to appreciate the effort and small successes we achieved in pursuit of our goal. It is this aspect of success and failure that I think is important to address in the day like today. For many, graduation is a culmination of all of our success in high school. Many of us along our journey through high school have also faced significant failures that may loom over our memories of high school. I ask everyone here today to reflect on their failures and ask themselves how they can perceive their failures as successes. Perhaps through your failure, you ended up achieving an unforeseen goal. Perhaps through your effort to achieve your goal, you inspired someone else to chase their own goals. And perhaps your failure gave you the push you needed to move forward and improve yourself so that you could succeed where you previously failed. Perspective determines our outlook on life, and I urge each member of the class of 2023 and those and all those present at this ceremony to look upon their past, present, and future and ask yourselves, in what way did I succeed instead of in what way did I fail? Changing your perspective on your failures can change the narrative you've written about your life for the better. And as we begin the next chapter of our lives, I think this is a good way to set yourself up for success in the long run. Thank you to Mr. Hughes, Ms. Perry, and Coach Shepard for running this great high school that allowed me to grow from my failures and achieve such a high level of success. And thank you to the class of 2023 for being the community that I got the pleasure of growing up with. Without further ado, let's continue with the graduation of the class of 2023. Lexis Kemp, senior class treasurer, daughter of Chase Kemp, and Candace Johnson from Rutherford will address our special guests. Garrison Martin Summa Kamalde. 
Matthew, David, Reynolds, Summa, Kimwane. Mariah, Elizabeth, Lewis, Summa, Kimwane. Leah, Blue, Kirk, Summa, Kimwane. Jaden, Ramon, Ball, Summa, Kimwane. John, Paul, Truy, with honors. James, Ethan, Turner, Summa, Kimwane. Sophie, Corinne, Allred, Summa, Kimwane. Sadie, Lene, Wright, Summa, Kimwane. Elizabeth, Kate, Nicholson, Summa, Kimwane. Ariel, Elizabeth, Marie, Eddings, Summa, Kimwane. Jayla, Chantel, Bailey. Michael, Anthony, Bell, Jr. Evan, Christopher, Bonds. Gavin, Kareem, Bonds. Alexis, Shaylin, Boyer, with honors. Jacob, Wilson, Bradley. Destiny, Leah, Burkett, Magna, Kumwabe. Azariah, Michelle, Busby, Kumwabe. Jason, Tyler, Cannon. Timothy, Bentley, Cannon. Paul Ray Moore, Sigmund Kamala. Chelsea. 
Leslie Nicole Morris. Alexander Mitchell Lane Pate with honors. Talmadge Elijah Patterson. Hayden Bradley Ibiza. Pursuing worthwhile goals calls for continuous struggle. 
As you attempt to make those changes needed to obtain whatever goal you are seeking, your parents, your grandparents, and your guardians made changes in their lives and endured struggles so that you could be here right now graduating from Gibson County High School. They provided you the foundation and lessened the struggle you would have had to endure if you had tried to accomplish, excuse me, to accomplish this feat alone. For that, you owe them your gratitude and your love. Providing them a heartfelt thank you or I love you after this ceremony will go a long way. Trust me. I said that again. Trust me when I say one cannot put a dollar amount on that kind of gesture. To improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often, proclaimed Winston Churchill. Being successful takes change. Being a leader takes change. Increasing one's social status takes change. Increasing one's annual income will take change. And marrying for a lifetime and raising a family will take frequent change. Be willing and eager, eager to embrace the change for the betterment of yourself and those around you. You have earned this appointment, which allows you to move forward in life. Make the most of it. Open all the doors you possibly can so that you can continue to make all those positive changes in yourself. Don't be stagnant. Live life to its fullest. And make a change or make many changes to attain those goals and aspirations about which you dream. In conclusion, thank you to the family members, friends who are in attendance. Thank you to the faculty, the staff, Ms. Carey, Mr. Shepard, Mr. Henson, Ms. Newell, and Mrs. Denton Bell for your continued strive for excellence in your work ethic, your integrity, and your dedication to meeting the needs of our students at Gibson County High School. Thank you, Mr. Brewer and the school board members for your ongoing commitment to making Gibson County High School successful. Finally, I thank you, class of 2023, for making this an exceptional year. Your teachers and fellow pioneers will miss you. I will miss you. Good luck, and may God bless you as you venture forth and embrace all those positive changes necessary for a successful future. So about a week ago, I think it was a week ago Tuesday, I think it was in the morning about 8.15 uh, where I was modeling how to clean up the gym floor after some of my friends decorated it. <laughs> and I use that word modeling because I know Mr. Brewer and Mr. Henson, I think Dr. Goh's up there, they're probably evaluating me right now. So if you give me one second. Some of you might recognize this, you probably missed it, probably Monday night, Tuesday morning. So I just kind of want to turn this into a little academic thing right here. You know, as far as throwing toilet paper. So I would say this one right here, whoever threw this one, A plus. Honors, A, B, do it wrong, do it credit. Great job. There might be two or three she sheets left. Right here, ah, probably about a C, somewhere on a C. Here's not bad right here, but let me get to this one right here real quick. Now I don't know who was <laughs> throwing this one, but if you did or tried to, you need to see me after the ceremony, because we need to talk about summer school or credit recovery. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Would everyone 
please stand. Mariah Lewis, senior class vice president, will give our benediction. Mariah's from Donald, Isabella Donald, and Amanda Lewis. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day and for everyone gathered here tonight. We are grateful for the blessings and challenges that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, we ask for your guidance and blessings. May we continue to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and integrity as we embark on new journeys. May we use our talents and abilities to make a positive impact in the world and inspire others to do the same. I pray that every person here be blessed by the glory of your grace and love. We love you and we thank you. In Christ's name, amen. amen.